African Air Ordnance. Today we have another new gun day. Just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's get to opening. This is another new delivery from Pelicans.com. These guys are really awesome with their, their service. Super fast. Let's have a look at right what today. Oh boy. Something from Caliber Gun. Which way this sits, this sits, so I'll create it just that. Okay, let's see what we've got. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's check that out. Yes. This is a new spring box. Pretty cool. So I'm guessing this here is the shroud or the rifle. Alright, I think next we're gonna put the shroud on and we'll see what comes in the box. Alright, now that she's out the box, let's have a look. So firstly, she has a 600 millimeter shrouded barrel that also how um, that also houses the recycling mechanism for the semi-auto. 500cc tank, the barrel is unchoked, it's a 12 grit barrel with a 17.1 crisp. Fill pressure is 300 bar, pretty awesome. It's fully regulated and the regulator is externally adjustable. With the rifle, you get the owner's manual, you get two 13 shot magazines, a full pro, a spare hammer spring, full o-ring kit and a little storage bag. The rifle is threaded with half UNF thread and it's absolutely beautiful. The cocking lever is ambidextrous so it can switch from left to right, right to left. Uh, the rifle weighs in at 4.1 kgs or around about 9 pounds. So it's quite a, it is quite a heavy rifle but very very awesome. Absolutely beautiful. Alright next, just going to show you how you adjust the regulator. So it takes a very large Allen key. All right, so if you were to just get it, so be just like that, if you were to adjust the regulator this way, you would increase the regulator pressure. If you go the opposite direction, just like that, you will decrease the regulator pressure. So it's nice that it's a big slot for a big key. There's no chance of really. Uh, stripping that out. Next we just want to look at the hammer adjuster which sits over here. So this is you can screw it in to increase the hammer uh, strike or unscrew it to decrease the hammer strike. And also when this is screwed in there is actually a load indicator uh, just over here that pops out just to show you that the rifle is loaded. To load a magazine, you simply slide it open just like that, and then you just roll it all the way until it stops, and then pop a pellet in, and you can fill up the mag. So it just operates pretty simple system, and you just close it like that, and you're ready to go. To cock the rifle, I'll just flip it over just to show you guys. So you like that, and you simply just wrap the rifle back, and you can push that in. And that'll hold the bolts open so that you can insert the magazine. And then when you're ready to go, you just simply and let it slip forward just like that. So that's how you, and you can also switch this over to the other side of the rifle. So just so you know, when you fire the gun, this bolt doesn't travel up and down with the mechanism inside the gun. It's simply there just there to cock the rifle. So you don't get um, 
the bolt moving up and down only when you cycle it to first load it and then every time you put a magazine you have to cock it back just to get the mag out and we'll put in your mag and then you just you can allow that to fly forward and it'll take a pellet up and load it for you one thing with semi-autos you do get a small puff of air or as i'd say it's like a little fairy kiss <laughs> from the mag well it's just something that is you know, part and parcel of having semi-autos uh, in this design. Also, there's uh, Picatinny rails on either side, also over here, that allow you to mount like cameras and other pods. Very, very cool. Absolute beauty of the rifle. So the rig range on this rifle is uh, anything from 45 bar up to around about 180 to 200 bar. I would say is where the max is where you can put it. Although if you run it too high, you might end up with valve lock, and if you run it too low, you may not have enough uh, pressure to cycle the rifle. But we'll find out about that when you go and test shooting. I must say the build quality of this rifle is amazing, and I'm just really excited about getting it onto the range. And saying that, I think it's time to put a scope on it, and we'll get to the range. Alright guys, back at the range with the Caliber Gun Springbok. I've got it topped with my favorite Crimson Trace 6024x56 optic. So the press on the end is just one we make here at African Air Ordnance. So just keep things down a bit, not disturb the bird life. The three pellets we're going to be testing all light. Uh, the light is being 14.39, it's a JSP pellet. Then we're doing 15.89. And then the heavier pellet, the heaviest pellet we're going to do today is 18.13 grains. And they're both all JSPs. So now I'm sure to get some comments. Uh, if it doesn't shoot pellets, great. Right at the box. So people are going to say, oh, I want to buy that rifle. It's not an accurate rifle. Guys, it's brand new. It's out the box. It's going to have to go through a break-in period, being that it's a semi-auto. So let's just see how three different pellet weights that we shoot go. And then take it from there. Alright, I've got to load up with some JSB 14.35 grain. Very light color. Let's see how they shoot. Right, so it's slinging him down there, but I think it's just too fast for that little pellet. Right, next, I got to load up some 15.89 uh, uh, JSB Jumbo Exact. Let's see how those shoot. Alright, so I just went to slightly heavier pellet. I see the group just getting a bit tighter. Alright, next I've got to load it up with some JSB 18.13 grain. Let's see how they shoot.
Right, not too bad, do a couple of flies, but very promising. One thing I want to say about the Springbok from Caliber Gun is named after a small a gazelle here in southern Africa. It's called a Springbok or Springbok as we call it. And I'll put a picture so you guys can see what it looks like. Alright guys, so there's the first results of the box results. Next we want to do is we're going to test the same weight, but I'm going to turn down the regulator and see if we can't lower the speed a bit just to tighten up those groups. So I've lowered the regulator to 50 bar and I've also backed the hammer spring off way back so that you can't even see the load indicator it's so far back. And let's get started with that test. Alright, got to load up with those 14.35 grain JSBs. Let's see how they do. Alright, so there you have it. So the grip is much tighter now that I've slowed it down. So I'm much happier with those results. It is a very long way though for 85 yards for a little 14 grain pellet. So I must say that's a pretty impressive result. Alright, I've got it uh, loaded up again with the 15.89s. Let's see how they do this time. Alright, so not bad uh, at this low speed. Do have a couple of flies, but I must say, I mean, this really is not too bad for pellets. <laughs> it's a very sweet rifle, shooting absolutely awesome. Alright, next we've got to top it top off with the JSB Heavy Jumbos, 18.13 grain. Let's see how they do this time. Alright, that was excellent. One little fly. Definitely lowering the, the speed of the pellets has really improved the accuracy. Alright, so there you have the results of, that, of the second test. I must say those groups really tightened up nicely. Again, a couple of flies here and there, but you know, 85 yards for those very light pellets, it's a long way for them to, to travel you know, without going slightly off centre. I must say reducing the rate pressure really really helped and also increased I must say that the consistency of shot to shot consistency did improve quite a bit and I couldn't believe that we're pushing those numbers at 50 bar at regulator that's just unbelievable and the rifle functioned flawlessly the entire time 
just so you guys know, the rifle is extremely efficient on air. Um, in some pre-testing on the 50 bar, I think I ran 12 magazines through without actually coming off rig, so it was very impressive. Uh, the shot count is just amazing with the rifle and absolutely flawless, even at such a low pressure. Rig pressure, it's unbelievable. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be shooting some uh, different slugs, maybe a the redesigned JSP heavy pallet in 25 grain, just to see how the rifle performs with some slightly heavier weights. So that should be interesting, so look out for that. This video will go right out just right after Christmas, so I do want to wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, because it helps grow the channel, and have an awesome holiday.